everyone. In this video I am going to be upgrading my PS3 hard drive to a solid state hard drive and also a bigger one, one terabyte. So what is in this system is 120 gigabytes and we're gonna have a little upgrade. So let's show you how to do it here, how to upgrade the hard drive on the PS3. So there's this little panel right up here that we have to open up first because there's a blue screw that we have to take out. So we're going to open this up. There's our blue screw. I've got my handy Phillips screwdriver. And we're just going to open this up. And right here is a nice little panel here. And we're going to slide it and then pull it right out. I might need two hands for this. Let me put down the screwdriver. There we go. And there's our hard drive. So now we're going to pull this out. It's got a nice little handle here. Pull out the hard drive. And here we go. We have a Toshiba in there. 120 gigabytes. So we're going to replace this puppy right here. And we have to take four screws off of this. And then I'm going to put my other hard drive in there. So Western Digital Solid State, one terabyte. And we're going to swap them out. So let's do that now. Okay, so we have it loose. We're just going to pop this out. There's our other hard drive. Here's the solid state. It looks so interesting. It is just... There is nothing to it really. I mean, <laughs> mechanical, solid state. I love it. All right, so we pop this in and we're gonna make sure that the SATA connectors are facing out because we have to plug it back into the hard drive. There we go, popped it in there and now we're gonna put those screws back on there so it doesn't come out. All right, we have our hard drive back on that tray, so we're going to pop it back into our system here. And just give it a little push and make sure it is seated firmly in there. And then we're going to put all of this back together. So let's do it. The little panel back on first that is where that security screw holds this on. We put that blue screw back in there. And then we have completely replaced the hard drive. So what we're going to do next, because this hard drive has no PS3 information on it at all, so it doesn't know it's a PS3 hard drive. We are going to go onto the PlayStation website and we are going to get a download so we can install the system back onto that hard drive. So onto our PC. For the PC part, you're going to need a USB stick that is formatted in FAT32. We're going to put the update onto this USB stick and then turn everything on with the PS3 and it will recognize that there's an update or installing for the operating system for the PS3 and then it will do it. It's probably going to take a while but I will show you how to do it. Okay so here I am using a third party program to reformat my USB stick and it actually already is formatted to FAT32 but if you did need to reformat it, there is a format partition area that you click on and select FAT32 and you will just apply it and it will format it to FAT32, which is what you need in order for the PS3 to recognize it. And after this is done, we're going to move to the PlayStation website to download the update. That way we can put it on this USB stick. Okay, so here is the PlayStation website where we can download the software for our PS3. So what we're going to do is scroll on down to reinstall system software because we don't have any at all. And then we're going to download the PS3 update. 
and I realized that I did have an issue even right clicking and saving as it says in the directions with my Chrome browser and I had to copy and paste the link into my Edge browser to actually get it to download. But after it downloads, then you're just going to make a folder on your USB stick called PS3, then make another folder inside that called update, and that is where you're going to save your PS3 update file. Okay, so here's what your USB stick should look like. It should have a PS3 folder in it, when you click on it, it should have an update folder in it. And then inside that folder, you should have your PS3 update file stored in there. And that is all you need to plug into your PS3 and start the update. So let's head to the PS3 again. Okay, so here is our PS3 ready to go. Have the update USB installed right here. So we're going to turn it on. And I'm sorry I'm doing it this way with my camera phone here, but I wasn't sure um, if it was going to work if I plugged my PS3 directly to my capture card. Alright, let's uh, turn it on here and let's see if it comes to life, I hope. Some form of life. Okay. So, it is connected through a USB controller. So here's my controller. It is connected via the cable. We're pushing the PlayStation button. And here we go. So we're going to restart the system. And it's going to reformat it and reinstall the system, system software. Okay, so we have to do start select. And then we are going to restart the system. It's going to reformat the hard drive because I'm pretty sure the hard drive is not FAT32. And then it is going to install that update from the USB stick that is attached to the PS3. So this might take a little while. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of it and not the whole thing because from what I understand it's going to take a while. So we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, so the formatting actually went pretty quick, and I'm hoping the update will be as quick as well. So let's see what this is going to do. Looks like it's rebooting the PS3 and system software version, so it looks like it's going to update the system. So push the button on the controller. It's looking for the update data. And then it should install the update, and then we should have a working PS3 again. Alright, it is installing the PS3 update, so we're going to leave it alone, let it do its thing, and then we are going to come right back. Alright, it just finished installing that update and rebooted the system, so we are going to see if the PS3 is going to reboot itself and remember who it is. And that is a very good sign. So we have the Sony logo coming back online here. All right, it's telling me to connect it, which it already is connected and in a million languages. So it looks like we're doing initial setup again. So we are back up and running here. I will do initial setup and then we'll be right back. Okay, so there we are. The PS3 has booted up and it is up and running. Okay, so we have officially installed a one terabyte SSD into the PS3. It's all updated and ready to go. So stay tuned next time. I'm going to be installing custom firmware onto my PS3 and I want to rip my disks to the internal hard drive so I don't have to worry about using them all the time. So stay tuned for more PS3 videos. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.